Are you gonna visit Argentina, the country of tango, football, and amazing natural wonders? But don't you need a visa? What are the rules to enter the country? Don't worry, I'll tell you all. Hey everyone, this is Behnam from the Visa Library team. This channel is created to give visa information about your travel destinations and the easiest ways to emigrate. Watch this video till the end so you'll learn whether you need an Argentina tourist visa or not. Requirements, how to apply and the COVID-19 rules for entering the country. Before we get started, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. That way, you'll get notified about the latest videos. I also have a surprise for you. Watch this video till the end so you'll get it. Are you ready? Very well. Let's get back to our question. Do you need a tourist visa to visit Argentina? The answer is up to your nationality. Some countries are exempt from tourist visa. Countries such as the US, Israel, EU members, Japan, South Africa. The list is pretty long. You can see the full list of visa-free countries on the visa library article from the link in the description box. If your nationality is on this list, you don't have to apply for a visa. You can visit the country with your passport. You should also know that the Argentinian government introduced the e-visa or ETA. If you are eligible, you can apply for e-visa from anywhere in the world online. The application process is entirely online and as easy as a pie. It will get done in a few minutes. You can use ETA only for tourism purposes and you don't have the right to work or study in Argentina with it. Are you wondering how long you can stay in the country? For 90 days, no longer, but you can enter the country many times. So, who is eligible to apply for Argentina e-visa? Countries such as India, the Philippines, the Bahamas, the list is pretty long. See the full list on the visa library article from the link in the description box again. So, your nationality wasn't among the visa-free countries and eligible ones for an e-visa. What should you do? Now, you have to apply for a tourist visa to the Argentinian embassy in your home country. For the first step, you need to prepare the requirements. You're wondering what are they? Here they are. Number one is your passport plus a copy of its pages. Your passport needs to be valid for at least six months over the date you will leave Argentina. Take a look at the date it was issued. Is it older than 10 years ago? If yes, get a new one. In case you've had other passports, provide them to the embassy as well. Number two is the application form. You can download it from the Argentinian embassy website in your home country. You can also download it from the link in the description box. Complete the form with your personal information, full name, address, passport number, nationality, duration of a stay in Argentina, and other required items. In the end, print, date, and sign the application form. Let me tell you this. You'd better check the Argentinian embassy website in your home country. Why? They might have instructions or ask for further requirements that you need to know. Number three is a photo of yourself with a white clear background. Provide two photos by 4x4 four four cm dimension. They cannot be older than three months ago. Are you considering a shortcut? Argentinian embassy do not accept copied, scanned, and digital photos. Also, if your face has changed a lot in the past three months, take a new photo. Number four is a cover letter. What is it? A letter explaining the purpose of your visit to the country. You explain to the government why you need to visit Argentina. Do not forget to include the details of your trip in it. It's one of the essential elements. Number five. Have you made up your mind about when getting to Argentina? Yes? Provide a booked ticket from a travel agency or an airline. Number six is the financial independence proof. Submit bank statements or any evidence proving you can cover the cost of your trip. Number six is a place to stay. Where is it? A hotel? A rented apartment? Provide a copy of the hotel reservation receipt or rental agreement. Are you going to stay with a friend or family member? If yes, ask them to send you an invitation letter and include the full name, address, 
passport number, residential status, work permit or student permit, job, the host needs to clarify to pay your costs to stay in Argentina. Last, but certainly not least point to remember is that the mentioned requirements are not complete. The embassy might require further supporting documents. It's up to the country you live in and the embassy's decision. Let's continue the application process. At this stage, schedule a meeting with the Argentinian embassy. You can do it through a phone call, their website, or sending an email. The way is up to the embassy. There is nothing to worry about and you will find it out. Remember the exact date and time of the interview because you must get to the embassy in person and on time. Being late won't be good for your application. Passing through the security of the embassy could take time, so you would better get there about an hour early. You have to bring all of the requirements to the meeting. Do not forget anything. There is no copy service or the dog ate my homework. Double check everything and ensure they are according to the instructions. Better to be safe than sorry. When you meet the visa officer, submit the documents. There is also an interview with a few questions. Try not to hide anything. It could destroy your chance to get a visa. So give true and honest answers. You should also pay the fee for visa processing. So bring enough cash or your credit card. How much does a tourist visa cost you? The type of currency and the way to pay the fee is up to the embassy. Ask them in advance and prepare yourself. When the meeting is over, you need to wait until your visa gets ready. The processing time could take from 12 days to a month. At this stage, there are two scenarios. First, the embassy rejects your visa and find you not qualified. If so, they will send you a letter and explain the reason. You can work on your application to remove the reasons and apply again. Second, the embassy approves your visa. If so, they will inform you to pick your visa up or they might post it to your address. Congratulations! Now you can move to Argentina. To enter the country, you need a COVID-19 vaccination certificate and a negative PCR test 72 hours before entering Argentina. Are you wondering how long is your visa valid? It's valid for 90 days. Do you need to stay longer? You can ask for an extension 30 days before the expiry date. The final point to remember is that you can't work under a tourist visa in Argentina. Alright then, this is all that you need to know about Argentina tourist visa. For further details, visit the visa library article from the link in the description box. Before you leave, ensure to like this video and click the alert notification. That way, when we have a new video, you'll get notified. Do you remember that I had a surprise for you at the beginning of this video? There is a free PDF file on the description box, which helps you a lot in your application process. Don't forget to get it. It's free. We highly appreciate writing your questions and comments. Visa Library team will respond to them right away. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you all for watching.